Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to Celebrating Act 2, where John Coleman and I get to speak with Dr. Liz about lots of stuff that can help us. <laughs> I love that technical lead in, don't you, Dr. Liz? Mm -hmm. stuff I love that it. Can help us. Yeah, but you know, you, you always stuff. do have um, a scientific medical approach to real questions that I think, you know, people have about uh, health and medicine and things like that. So I, I for one, really appreciate it. Uh, recently, here's my appreciated question. Recently, I was approached by kind of a friend of a friend who sells essential oils. Hmm. And I had kind of a cold, you know, stuffy uh, sinus, whatever it was. She said, Here, take this. I don't remember what it was, but you know, it was a, an herb or something. It was the essential oil from an herb. Yes. And I kind of begged off. I didn't, you know, but it, they're very popular. And I'm wondering, is is this thing about essential oils, is it real? Is, it, is there a scientific basis for this stuff? Hmm. I believe the answer to that question is yes. Wow. Okay. Tell us more. So I could have tried it. <laughs> Absolutely, you can try it. It doesn't mean that you don't do something that your doctor recommends or that you don't do other treatments. But I believe that, I mean, we know that these, the practice of using essential oils goes back thousands of years. Hmm. The There's no clear knowledge of how it began. However, one explanation that I read that seemed as reasonable as any other is that at some point when humans started burning using fire, oh. that most likely some leaves of some sort got burned accidentally and they realized that there were different aromas sure. and different effects. Okay, yeah. So using smoke as part of healing techniques is something that we've seen evidence of thousands of years ago. Right. Seems to have been refined by the Egyptians a couple of thousand years ago. There are pots where they could still tell the faint scent of different oils in Egyptian tombs in the pyramids. Hmm. Oh. Wow. Well, you know, I, I, I've heard a little bit about essential oils, but my knowledge base runs out after the word lavender and <laughs> small bottles that are very expensive yeah. that say okay, well, essential, have, essential oil. Have, so that's the depth of my knowledge. And I'm not suggesting that it's like uh, in New York City, one of the most uh, essential aromas is walking into a bakery uh, on mm. Sunday morning and uh, getting a, a rye bread and rolls. And, and that Indeed. just going Indeed. in there well, makes you feel but that's, that's a, right. a feeling of well-being. So I assume that at a minimum, it, it just makes you feel good. Well, I was going to say, you said your knowledge runs out at lavender, and I'll bet you that's not true. How about oregano? Speaking of nice oh. aromas. Yes. Okay. Yeah. How yeah. about peppermint? Peppermint is oh, well sure. known to settle the yeah. stomach. Yeah. We but those, those are essential oils. I wouldn't have, uh, I wouldn't. Those are essential essences. That's exactly wow. right. So wow. these come from plants, and there's different ways to get the essential oils. All right. So in it, and this is interesting. The oils in the plants are in different areas of the plant, different times of the day and different times during the year. So during the uh, year makes sense. Right. If the plant is flowering or sure. not. But I thought it was very I was fascinated to learn that even different times of day. The yeah. plant essences will be located in different areas of the plant. Yeah. So one way you would imagine is very straightforward, parts of the plant, the leaves or the flowers, crushed or pressed and mixed with water or some other type of solvent and sort of boiled, let's say boiled all together yeah. or running steam through it. And then the oils separate out from the liquid, yeah. from the water. Hmm. Okay. And then, of course, there could be something. Oh, here's another one that you're aware of, but you just didn't think of it as an essential oil is citrus. Citrus. Yeah. Citrus. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, right. That's... So we get a lovely feeling from uh, lemon or orange. And those are a little bit different process. It's from it's in the peel. That's in the mm. peel of the fruit. And that's a straight pressing. That is a press. Right. Okay. Yeah. 
and then the oil again separates from the water and that is how uh, we start that, that is how essential oils are made yeah well uh, they're, made see, to be, I, I, they're made to be in, in inhaled as opposed to uh, people don't take pills or anything like that do they well, they can be, and again, it's it's not that well studied, okay, because drugs get studied because the manufacturer has a vested interest in comparing the drug and getting right. it approved mm -hmm. and selling a drug. So essential oils haven't been tested exactly the same way, but they can be ingested. More commonly, it's either inhaled, aromatherapy, for example, mm -hmm. or some, we've talked about peppermint, that can be ingested, but also applied topically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, That's so interesting. so you know the calendula flower is used for uh, scratches, cuts. There, there's there's a lot of uses that uh, exist in the world. We just don't necessarily think about them, it's, but it is sure. becoming more popular now and more of a topic of discussion. Yeah. Sure, um, you know I've got a a little grove out behind the house, and I know um, for a fact that certain trees, um, the flower will open up the female uh, organs of the flower in the morning and not in the afternoon and vice versa. And it, and so sometimes you need different, different tr uh, trees of the same family to cross pollinate each other. So the idea that mm -hmm. it's a complicated method to extract the oils of these plants it makes total sense. You can mm -hmm. see why it would be expensive. Uh, it's not the same as squeezing a lemon, you know, and getting lemon juice. That's so, right. Uh, That's exactly right. We're talking about the oils in the skin, not necessarily the yep the water soluble juices. Yeah, we're talking more about the oils. Sure. And sure. also to what we were uh, we were just talking about, they're very potent. The oils are very strong. Yeah. And so, for example, if one is mixing a because I have also uh, seen and used kits where you have the bottles of the essential oils. And if you're going to mix it with something with a base, so let's say like an almond oil, something kind of or olive oil, that's another way to mix it up. Yeah. Uh, and the percentage is going to be about two, two and a half percent of the essential oil and ninety seven and a half percent of the oh, base so, oil. So you're talking just using drops. Right. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And olive oil is a good example of I don't know that it's considered an essential oil. It's essential to our cooking. But olive oil is is cheaper, easier to extract. And so you can buy, you know, for the price of a little um essential oil, you can buy a quart of olive oil. Yeah. Indeed, indeed. And that's why, uh, speaking of cooking, we use different plants. We use oregano, we use thyme, yeah. right? We use these different uh, herbs uh, in various ways. Sometimes yeah. it's the oil, sometimes it's the leaves directly that we're using, sometimes they're dried. It, it really, that that varies. Yeah. Would, 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 know, would, it, be can... fair, would it be fair to say that uh, a, a bottom line is that uh, essential oils probably can hurt you, uh, assuming that you're just uh, using aromatherapy as your uh, as starting point for it to come in. And if it makes you feel good, uh, then that's the worst that will happen is make you feel good or it won't, but it's probably not going to hurt you. So that there's probably not I much agree. risk in people uh, having fun with them. I agree. Okay. Well, good. I'm, next time, I'm not going to turn this lady down. I'm going to I'm going to take her essential oils. So give it a try. You. Let us know how it goes. OK. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our Web page. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.